happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <sighs> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume, more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first... Ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. something. Let it serve as a reminder, sir, of happier days. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen, I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. 
<laughs> funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front.
Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you lose your owner, buddy. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together.
think I can pick this.
worked it. Thank <laughs> you. 